Well, hello everyone. Um, welcome back. Today is Monday and same as every Monday, we're looking at uh, the data to see what it says about our weight loss progress. I'm afraid it's not a very exciting week, but you know, that's part of the process. So we're here. Let's just take a look at it and see where we are. Uh, we are currently on week eight, um, which is the week of July 8th to July 14th. It's the week that just ended. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. As I predicted, um, we are, our weight is up for this week, second week in a row. Um, the target for this week was 297.26, and we are sadly at 306.2. Now, that is, you know, like the lowest that we got was 302.6, so this is almost like four, yeah, 306.2, 302.6, that's confusing to say. Needless to say, we're, we're a bunch of weeks behind now. So um, we knew this was gonna happen. It's been a week of um, higher carbs. So I am guessing that this is a, probably a bunch of water weight if I had to make a real guess. Um, probably a bunch of water weight. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, also, our body fat percentage went up a little bit, but again, you know, this is being measured by measurements, not an actual scan. So it's difficult to know, like, was there any actual muscle loss? Like, this is all an approximation. And if we're a little bit bloated or just kind of retaining a little more water, this is going to look like there's more fat, but we don't really know uh, if, it's, if it really, you know, we went, we gained a whole percentage of body fat. So I know this is what it says and it is, you know, we're, we're going by this and for the most part that's what we're doing, but just trying to be mindful and keep in mind that um, it might be, you know, because, because my carb intake was higher this week and we'll take, we'll get to that point in a little bit. Um, it is just going to be a little bit, uh, probably retaining some water. So I'm guessing that has, you know, something to do with it. And then, you know, of course it says that we are lean body mass went down a little bit. Of course, I mean, if, if this goes up and this goes up means that our lean body mass goes down. It's just a calculation. Um, again, not an actual scan, which, you know, would be so great to be able to have like actual scans, but it is what it is. Now, the one thing that I am very excited about is blood pressure. Our second week in a row where we have perfect blood pressure. It is brilliant. Um, so this is great. And this is fantastic. You know, it went up a little bit, but again, we're still, the goal is to be under 80 and this was 72. And for this one, the goal is to be under 120. We're at 116. Mwah! Delicious. This is great. Somebody's right upstairs doing something. Okay, let's move on to nutrition. Now, this is where we really just kind of dropped the ball a little bit. Our calories are a little bit higher. 3250, um, you know, it's not great. But, uh, you know, especially because the, the target is 2500. And we had been, you know, for the most part, pretty good for a number of weeks. And here we have 28, yeah. 3250 is high. So we are, um, you know, we're definitely nowhere near our goal. But our daily calorie burn is also higher. Our target is supposed to be, you know, to burn at least 3,500 calories. And we were at 3,750 for this week. Um, so technically, and this is when I'm saying, you know, we were still at a, at a caloric deficit, which means that we do have, um, you know, some of this might actually be water weight. And if we, if we limit carbs this week a little bit more, we might get to see that. And so we'll wait to see what happens. But um, yeah, I mean, like we have been consistently burning more calories than we're consuming. So overall, that's what leads me to believe that it's mostly water weight, I want to say, and not the other way around, not actual fat. So, but of course, um, our um, 
the morning fat burn is a little bit higher again, 2.6. We want to be under 2, 2 or under really. 2, two would be fine or under. And so 2.6 is a little bit higher. And again, this probably had to do with the consumption of more carbs than we wanted to, which is the highest that it's been, 207 grams of carbs on average per day. That's a little bit high. That's a little bit high. Uh, protein was also high, um, 140. It's not, not as high as we wanted to be. Our target for this is 176. So 140 is not really where we want it to be, but you know, it's, it's not terrible. It's a decent amount of protein. And again, that leads me to believe that it really wasn't like muscle loss or anything like that. Um, because we, we are maintaining, you know, we were very active as you'll see when we get to the activity section. So we'll see. Um, 134 grams of fat. That's what we had on average for last week. Now let's move on to sleep. Again, this also probably plays a role in it. We want our sleep score. And again, the sleep score is a score that my aura ring gives me um, as it measures my sleep, you know, a bunch of different things like heart rate, temperature, um, blood oxygen, like all of these things. And it just tells me how well I slept. And it, you know, just, and depending on how long I slept, did I, did I, have like a restful night, how long I, I spent in uh, REM sleep or deep sleep, you know, all of those things. It combines everything and, you know, it does track everything. We could put it up here, but it's, I don't think we need to, you know, we can focus on this. The sleep score is just like a nice summarized version of, you know, are we hitting all of our goals for sleeping? Uh, the target is to be above 85. And again, this was not you know, 74, it's still decent sleep, but you know, it's definitely not um, 85, which is what we want to get to. And this probably had something to do with the fact that our sleep minutes are a little bit low. So again, because of the way that this thing works, it doesn't, it doesn't the, the uh, database doesn't let me put like hours and minutes which would be great to be able to see like six hours and 35 minutes, which is what this is. But and so we have to do it in minutes because it, had, it can only take one single um, number, I guess, in that way. Our target is 480 minutes of actual sleep, um, which is eight hours. And because we don't, you know, as soon as we get into bed, we don't fall asleep right away. And sometimes we wake up in the middle of the night and all that. Um, those minutes don't really count for total sleep in the, the app that I use, that it's the Aura Ring app. They don't uh, really count those minutes. You know, there's a difference between like time in bed and total sleep minutes. And this is the actual total sleep in minutes. And yeah, so it was six hours and 35 minutes on average. So 395 minutes, we want to get to 480 minutes. So we're still, you know, like an hour and a half short of the amount of sleep that we should be getting. See if we can improve that this week. But again, some of these things I'm measuring right now, but I'm not actively working to improve them. You know, I'm being mindful of it, not necessarily uh, acting on it. You know, like I, I, I'm going to try to, you know, have more sleep this week, but it is not a guaranteed because I'm not actively working on it. So just, you know, something for us to keep in mind. AHI is the apnea hypopnea index because I do have um, sleep apnea. I have to have my sleep with a CPAP machine and I measure that. And you know, we want to make sure that we're under five because that's also something that uh, tells you if the CPAP therapy is working. Um, luckily, my um, aura ring does measure blood oxygen and it, we're good on that front. And um, the HI is slightly higher. I had one night, I think that it was a little bit high and it sort of threw off the rest of the week because um, it was basically almost all days under five except for that one that I think was like an 11.6, which is high for, especially for me, that was very uncharacteristic. So I don't know. I really don't know what happened, but again, this is why we're working with averages. 5.3 is not terrible. We wanted to be under 5, but 5.3 is not really that bad. Let's move on to activity. Um, our target, of course, is 8,000 steps. I find it very curious that my activity 
it's like one week up, one week down, one week up, one week down, one week up, one week down, one week up. <laughs> I don't I don't know why that is. I mean, it's just, I just think it's interesting. I wasn't, you know, none of this is really done on purpose. I've been trying to hit the goal, but it just happens. So our target is 8,000 steps. Last week, we were short about 1,000 steps per day. This week, we have... 96.62, so that's great. We're above 8,000 steps. This was an out the average per day, fantastic. Um, not really much to say there. Um, I wasn't purposely taking walks. You know, I one of the things that I want to do is you know do more morning walks on days that we're not really exercising, but you know, it, like Tuesdays and Fridays we're not you know doing our workout. But there is so much walking in Buenos Aires that. I don't really have to do it. Like I hit my step goal, you know, just by living for the most part, unless I'm like spending a lot of time in here, you know, working on the computer and stuff. And so then I, I do have to do it. But in general, like life is very active here. It's one of the things that I love about the city and tr public transportation is fantastic. So it just, you know, the whole thing just works. So um, we're good on that. And same thing, weekly activity goal. Um, Again, you know, I'm supposed to hit a certain amount of calories um, or active calories above my basal metabolic rate on a given day, you know, every day. So basically, I want to hit 100% of that goal that the aura ring is giving it to me. My baseline is 500 calories, like 500 active calories on top of my basal metabolic rate that I'm supposed to hit every day. And, you know, it goes in tandem with the, um, with the steps, you know, the, the it only makes sense for this to be the case. But uh, again, last week we didn't hit our goal. We, we, we came really close. 97% is for all intents and purposes haven't hit the goal. But if we're being strict with the numbers, then we didn't. This time, though, 152%, which means that on average, I was completing 152% of my active daily, my daily, what is it? Active daily calories. I don't remember. Basically, I was doing 100% of, you know, so if it, was, if it was 500 calories for the day, and it does change based on how well you're doing, um, with how, how you're feeling if you're sleeping, you know, because it's a whole sort of like holistic approach to health with the aura ring. But, you know, like if it, it, there, there's a range, if everything is baseline, it's about 500 calories. If I'm feeling particularly well, according to the ring, then it'll up that a little bit. If you know, maybe I had a bad night, feeling under the weather, or something like that, or lower it. And so I'm at least supposed to do 100% of that, and I'm doing 152. I did 152% on average per day, which is great. Now, sadly, because I guess I wasn't as active the week before, my VO2 max dropped from 27 back down to 26. Not ideal, not great, but... It is what it is. This is where we are, you guys. Uh, another week, as you know, we're working on figuring out um, a, a better strategy. And so this is why things are a little bit up in the air right now. But uh, we're getting there. And I'm sort of building all these things and systems um, to help me, you know, um, yeah, help me with my goal. This is just, um, you know, and I understand that this probably doesn't resonate with everyone. And, you know, for some people doing this would probably be miserable. But then for me, it's a source of motivation. So I'm working on that and we'll see where we go from there. So thank you so much for hanging with me. I will see you tomorrow for our workout. Yeah.